Hello, my name is Nicole Hartley Bradford. I'm the originator of Awakening the Village and in my work with especially single mothers and permaculture game world builders, I use the tools, maps, distinctions and processes from many sources, but one of the huge source of, of these maps and tools is possibility management. And I, I'm giving it my first go here, making a video to present to you the box or the map of box technology to go with an article that I'm, I'm writing on Medium about my brave new experiments facing into partnership. So this is very scary for me, and I also feel joy to be doing this new experiment of video map making. Okay, so it starts, this map starts with the field of vast, unlimited potential. And human being that lives in this field of vast unlimited potential and yet somehow so often seems limited by something. What are some of the limitations that that people have? I don't know about you, but mine include perceptions. Beliefs. Some of my limitations include my habits. And rules that I've made for myself. Or that I follow. What are some of the things that limit you? What about opinions that you have that you won't budge on? I have those too. What about judgments and values? There are so many components to this limiting factor. And there are, it's made of all kinds of things that made it possible for me, for you to survive. This is the purpose. Of your box is the, the name that we give impossibility management to these, these perceptions, beliefs, habits, stories, opinions. Other names for the box include the ego or the worldview. What else have you called it? Maybe your mindset, the identity, even the self, the self-image. It's, it's your comfort zone. The box is a zone of familiarity. It's your belief system. It's your survival strategies. question comes up, who made it? Who made the box? This question has, has two possible answers, two, two more most obvious answers. One is them. They made it. They did. My parents, my teachers, my peers, the people who brought me up. Another possibility is that I did it. I 
which one is true? I like to think of this question in terms of what gives me more power to, to shift the purpose of my box from survival, which includes protection and defensiveness, into a phase two purpose, expansion. It is possible to expand your box. It takes initiation processes to do this. And these processes are also available through possibility management. Now, the, the distinction about the box is you have a box. Everybody does. and you are not your box, neither are they. They are not their survival strategies. They are not their worldview. Just as you are not your survival strategies, you are not your worldview. You are not your ego. When encountering other people and their boxes, you noticed how often it is our beliefs our habits, our assumptions, our stories and opinions, our ideas, our judgments, our reasons that put us into a box-to-box -box conversation with others, which when we hold to our boxes, this creates war. What else becomes possible with the expansion of the box? This is what I'm super interested in. And if you're interested in this, I invite you to get in touch with me or to explore further on your own the world of possibility management, which contains literally hundreds more maps, countless distinctions, processes and tools that you can use to expand your box so that you can move out of your marshmallow zone here in the comfy part of your box and have something else that is not war between you and other people. And if you want to do research on your own, please follow some of the links that I will put in the comments below. Thank you for watching.